What's up, YouTube? It's Elton Hearts 2 here, back for another Transformers video view. Today I'll be reviewing Transformers Generations Red Alert. Now, here, uh, here he is, is a uh, you know, sleek looking uh, you know, Lamborghini uh, Fire Chief car. Uh, same one he was in uh, G1, which I was lucky enough to have the original uh, G1 Red Alert uh, back in 86. I got it. My parents bought, uh, bought him for me for Christmas. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so buying him two years ago at Walmart was basically a welcome to an old friend, so. And ironically, it's the Christmas season, so I'm basically showing off my, uh, my old, no uh, Christmas toy. Although, you know, the G1 Rattle Tart I had, I no longer have, basically worn out as a kid. And had to be, uh, given away. No, but yeah, so uh, so glad having alert, and I really do like uh, how uh, <coughs> of the updated uh, Lamborghini uh, updated look of the Lamborghini Katashi was uh, whether it was in G one. And I believe, I believe it or not, kids, but, uh, back in the eighties, fire chiefs dr uh, drive Lamborghinis all the time. Yeah, yeah. Why? What do you think? What do you think? Why? Uh, fire chiefs are, are the boss of the of the fire station. It's because they are rich, and rich people you know, drive Lamborghinis. So, uh, so there we go. They draw. Uh, yeah, they often like to show uh, show off the you know, of the firemen or, or sleek looking you know, Lamborghinis in front of the dirt uh, of the dirty. Oh, uh, fireman who just came, uh, came off the fire uh, of a burning building, and and often fires them when one of them try to try to touch their cars. So yeah. No, mm, uh, so yeah. Uh, of course they don't try. Uh, of course, uh, of course I'm only talking. Uh, uh, but anyway, still, uh, still a good, uh, a good looking car. Yeah, with a nice uh, detail of, of the headlights. Uh, nice sleek design. Yeah, of course, got the fire, oh, fire rescue like the G1 figure had. Yeah, you got the Ottawa symbol in the windshield. One thing I do like about Red Alert you, uh, is that, it, is that uh, he doesn't have any robot parts sticking you know, inside the windshield, which is a good thing. You know, it makes it more like a real, uh, a real, uh, uh, a real car. Yeah, and and well, uh, and you just have the have the nicest painted you know, wheels of any Transformers generations. Yeah, yeah, not a nice, well detail on the hubcaps, which you can see inside. You no, know, the lug nuts inside. And you got fire rescue on the doors. Nice detail on you know, the mercy lights themselves. And I do and you look and you look at the back, you got nice you know, painted you know, tail lights. Yeah, with uh, with you know, license plate uh you know, 05 alert. Very good. And I and one thing that was best well, that is a detail of the, uh, uh, the the rear grill. I mean, this is this is not just uh, you know, a piece of plastic. It uh, it feels like you know you're you're, you're touching a real uh, a real car, you know, a real car grill. Yeah, but, yeah, very a very a very sleek looking car. Uh, of course, of course, Redler is a character I I, I relate to the most because he uh, he seems a uh, he because he basically struggled with a mental uh, a mental disability like I do. Uh, it, yeah, because uh, he's often he's often paranoid, often thinks uh, all you know, all the Autobots are out to get him. Of course, he's also frequent friends with Inferno. Often can they, uh, it's fire rescue with him, and often feels the need to try, 
uh, to impress Inferno. I should like hey, look, uh, look, Inferno. Uh, uh, look. Yeah, hey, look. Hey, look at me. Uh, you know, putting out all, uh, putting out the flames. Yeah, hey, look all all these. Uh, look all the people I'm rescuing, Inferno. Yeah. So yeah, so he's he was kind of like me. Yeah, and he often gets frustrated when th things go wrong. Yeah, so uh, of course I I start uh, of course you don't know I uh, I live with attention deficit disorder. So yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, of course you do. Of course you do see a little engine sticking out, which you can uh, remove to have it look like a a G1 alert. But to me, I I do like having an engine on makes yeah uh, makes it a look, a look more upgraded. You know, as this figure, uh, as this car is supposed to be, or upgraded version of Red Alert. Yeah, I'll remove this. Uh, as we'll transform soon. And also, can't remove the exhaust pipes, uh, which is actually his gun for his robot mode. Now I'll do a size comparison. He's bringing out Jazz. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, although although red, although red alert is slightly longer, yeah, the, the two cars are pretty much the, the same size, which is a good thing, you know. A good scale with a cartoon. Uh, now, the tra uh, transform red alert is pr it's pretty simple. First, you want to do is you know, flip with these tabs on the hood. Yeah, you know, just like that. Then you want to free, try to free the tabs, the over the back. You want to be very careful not to, you know, break the tabs underneath. Because my figure is stiff because I haven't, tra haven't transformed in a while. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Nothing, nothing like get a, nothing like a good burp to get your blood from uh, blood flowing. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'll try to lose these tabs, which is very, that gives it a pain. Yeah, I'll free those tabs. You got this. All right, go on, Red. Don't work with me. Uh, okay, uh, uh, now I got this. Uh, now I got the ta uh, now I got the lace free, which could pull pull these down, uh, just like that. Uh, now the front, now the free defeat. The there's a uh, there's a little tabs here. Put your fingernail in there. Now you now free to free the feet. You gotta do it a certain way because a little tab that yeah uh, that blocks it uh blocks the foot. Uh, first, you want to do is so, mm, uh, turn the foot uh, to the right, just like that, and push this down. And once once you do that, then you rotate all uh, all the way to the other side. And yeah, that's how uh, that's just that's one foot down. And I'll do the same on the other side. Now push this tap here. Now push this little up. Turn this. Uh, twist this to the left. Uh, push this down, and ro rotate this around. And then you got the, uh, the other foot. Then you twist, yeah, and turn these legs around so the wheels make up the kneecaps, just like that. Then you take uh, take this whole uh, tire car. You know, twist this around uh, like that in effort. Yeah, then you, yeah, then you pull, uh, pull this, and try to pull this out. Uh, that's all you can help. Yeah, untap this, untap the doors. Now you can, yeah, pull, pull this out. Helps you uh, free the arms so you can uh, maneuver these. Now.
you know, do the arms. You want to, I want to, you know, twist his side. That's like that. There's a little hinge. Yeah, you see a little hinge right there. You want to put, uh, push this down, just like that. You know, do the same on the side. Uh, turn this wheel to the side. Just from that, twist this little tab on the ground. Now, now, uh, now I can fold this out. You got the arms out. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, then you just, you know, flip. You know, flip this little thing up. Yeah, then you want to extend this front even further. You know, want to be careful not to break. Alright. These don't work. These don't work. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's the nervous part because, yeah, you gotta, uh, my finger's so stiff, I need to, no, I need to apply a lot of force to get us free, and watch out. Every time I do that, I'm afraid, afraid of breaking the plastic. Uh, anyways, you pull, pull this all the way out, and you put, uh, push this down to form this chest. Yeah, there's a little, two, it's just gonna hook this little, Tab on the ground. Yeah, it's gonna snap into place just like that. Yeah, and then take these. And all the uh, the arms you want to twist, you know, twist these around. Yeah, you know, twist these around. That's like that. And, and doing the doors, uh, pretty much what, what you want. You kind of the you know, flip all the way around. Uh, with your preference. I personally like to. I'll leave these doors down for red alert because that's how he was in the cartoon kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like he has a, has a, is holding a long shield like that and of course twist with his hand around just like that Yeah, now, uh, next to reveal the head is a very cool part. It's an automobile kick. You take this, uh, tap stick, uh, the roof of the car. You want to rotate this around, and uh, once you do that, it, uh, reveals a head. Oh, sorry, you didn't see. Mm, uh, sorry, you didn't see that. Yeah, take this roof of the car. You want to rotate this, and once you do... Yeah, uh, the the head just pops up. Yeah, you know, no, that's very cool. Uh, uh, how they do it. Yeah, you know, makes it look, uh, makes the way the uh, cartoon with the head rising after uh, transformation. And ladies and gentlemen, here uh, here you have Red Alert. You know, in his uh, robot mode. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, very good looking robot mode, of course. Of course, the, the, the problem for my figure is that uh, the arms are severely loose on mine. So, yeah, well, which, uh, which, uh, all right, which I don't mind because, yeah, because uh, that's the, that's the, because the same, because of my old G1 Red Alert had, had the same exact problems. He had very, he also had very loose arms. So yeah, so, so this really brings back character to my uh, original G1 uh, Red Alert. Plus, uh, plus, uh, plus, I guess it also goes with his character as he's so par so paranoid, so maybe afraid he's uh, you know, about to hit somebody, yeah, uh, every mm, or something. Yeah, of course he does have a little gun. Uh, has a little gun which he can hold. Yeah, I can hold it as his arm. Just like that. It does Yeah, hit the has pretty good solar joints. That's the only pose I can get out out of this figure. 
And of course, you also, uh, oh, and you can also attach this uh, little engine if you want. Of course, there's no taps. Yeah, and I think I think this is a mod to his, uh, you know, to where it's uh, fire hose that he that he used in the cartoon. Yeah, you know, because, because in the car, in the cartoon series, where in uh, Inferno Red Alert, uh, we're putting out fires. Use Red Alert usually has a little, little, a little gun that squirts out, uh, jets out water. So I think this is this is supposed to be a mod to, uh, you know, to his fire uh, to his futuristic fire hose. Yeah, but, but very, but very, very good looking figure. Of course, a lot of people, a lot of people complain he doesn't have. He does have a, a red head like uh like uh like the G1 fit uh, cartoon but this is a mo this is really a mod to the to the toy who well what's the G1 red alert had a black head yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really, I every every I did not I, I did not care for the red head on the, on the car on the cartoon at all I think that's <sighs> eh. Yeah, I I, I prefer redhead. I prefer red, red having a black head. Yeah. Yeah, but oh yeah, very good looking figure. And and as as do a size comparison, let's bring out you know, Starscream. Says he, uh, as you see, Red Alert is a you know, fairly tall, very tall figure. In fact, in fact, I think these two are. Uh, yeah, uh, fairly tall figure compared to Starscream. Uh, so yeah, very uh, great looking figure. Yeah, but, uh, of course this mold. This, of course, I know this mold has been repainted a uh, hundred times as uh, as side swipe as Generation Sunstreaker and also as uh, no, no punch and counter punch. Yeah, but uh, but there, uh, but I'm sure well, I know there's, uh, but this is the first time I ever had this mole as Red Alert, so yeah, I'm very happy with them. They're a uh, very yeah uh, uh, slick looking robot. Now not, um, a lot a lot the way the legs are look. Yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah yeah yeah. If you don't have a G1 uh, Generations Red Alert already. Yeah, I I highly suggest you pick uh, pick this figure up, and I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are uh, people who haven't uh, bought bought this mold already, but but uh, you know be uh, be hard to find uh, find this figure on retails anymore. So best bet is go online on eBay and order them. And if if you want a generation, right alert. And that, uh, that, uh, that is pretty much it for my video review on this guy. If you liked this video, please join me in the description. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.